Hi everyone, welcome back to today's video. For today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make this super adorable little holiday card using our Smitten Mittens stamp set. I absolutely love this card. I love that the little mittens move around. It is so adorable. It's by far one of my favorite cards I've made recently. So. I'm really excited to show you guys this one. Um, before we actually get into all the products that we're going to need, I wanted to talk about the stamp set that I'm gonna be using today, which is our Smitten Mittens stamp set. And I'm really excited to show you guys this card because I am doing a new online card class throughout the entire month of November, and it's going to be featuring the Smitten Mittens stamp set. So the way that this card class is going to work is you can um, go online and in my online Stampin' Up! store and make any purchase of $35 or more using the hostess code that will be somewhere on the screen. It'll also be in the description um, or in the blog post, which will be in the description box below, and um, place a $35 or more order using that hostess code and you will get all of the supplies that you'll need to make the cards. So there are three cards in the class, not including this one. This one's just like a bonus. So if you happen to end up getting the Smitten Mitten stamp set or you have it already, um, I really wanted to show you guys this card because I am in love with it. So you'll get the consumable products, meaning the paper, the ribbon, um, all of that kind of stuff to make these three cards and um, it'll be sent to you completely free. So like I said, the only thing you have to do is purchase um, or place a $35 or more order using the hostess code, the specific hostess code through the entire month of November and you will get that card class sent right out to you um, absolutely free. Sorry, that was my phone. <laughs> Um, so if you want uh, some kind of ideas of what you could purchase to get your $35 to go with the class, um, all of that information will be in the coordinating blog post. As always, it's the first link in the description box below. If you have any other questions on this or need some more information from me, um, you can always email me at littlemooncreation.com. But like I said, $35 or more, all you have to do is head over to littlemooncreation.stampinup.net, place your order, use that hostess code, and then you'll get an awesome card class sent right to you. And then I'll email you out the video showing you how to make the project step by step. So I'm super, super, super excited to do this. And, um, Hopefully I'm gonna do one of these every month from now on. So anyways, that's my plan, but let's jump into today's project because that's why we're all here, right? So um, we're going to need the Smitten Mitten stamp set, obviously. Um, this one is so much fun. I love the little greetings on here. It's just absolutely adorable. So we're gonna be using this. We are also going to be using two sets of framelits today. So we're gonna use the Many Mittens framelits and these coordinate with that stamp set. They're actually um, part of a bundle right now in the holiday catalog so you can get them together and save 10% um, off each product. And then we also have the Stitch Shape framelit dies. As always, I don't know that I can make a project without using these. I seriously have an addiction. Like it's bad, it's a real problem. So we're gonna be using these as usual. Um, for our ink, we're gonna be using Bursamark and then I'm gonna use our gold embossing powder along with that. I have this pretty ribbon here and I can't even remember, this is the Natural Trim in silver. It's super pretty. You actually don't need a ton of this. We're just gonna use a little tiny piece, um, but that's what we're gonna use. And then for all of our paper, I have here just a scrap of Whisper White. So you'll need a piece big enough to cut out a circle and then two of our little mittens. I also have a piece of designer series paper. This is part of the, oh man, I can't remember the suite and I don't have my catalog right next to me. It's part of, um, it's in the new holiday catalog and it's part of one of these suites and it is foiled um, paper that's super, super beautiful. So. I loved this snowflake and it goes really, really well with this card. So we have a piece here and um, this is cut at, let me think about this. Um, this is cut at three and three quarters by five inches. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. <laughs> then I have two pieces here of pool party. I have one that's just a scrap and you just need um, the scrap to cut out a circle. And then I have the other here, which is cut at four inches by five and a quarter. And then I have our card base here, which is just crumb cake. And it is our standard size card base, which is eight and a half by five and a half. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna do is go ahead and get all of our stamping done. And you might see a little doggy nose in here because I have a dog sitting in my lap that really wants to participate. Um, 
So anyways, we're gonna start with all of our stamping and embossing. So I'm gonna bring in my piece of Whisper White here. I have my Versamark ink pad and my gold embossing powder. I also have three stamps from the stamp set. Um, so I have our sentiment, which says, may you have many merry moments surrounded by those you love. And then I have the two little tiny mittens from the stamp set. So we're gonna stamp all of these at the same time so we can just emboss everything at once and get it over with. So I'm just gonna take my sentiment and for my sentiment, I'm going to kind of place it a little more in the middle of the piece of paper, just to make sure I have enough room to cut my circle out around it. And then I'm gonna take my little mittens and I'm gonna put my mittens down towards the bottom of my paper because they don't really take, um, they're pretty tiny and the thin lip that go, or the framelit that goes around it doesn't take up too much room. So, close that up. I'm just gonna bring in a piece of copy paper here that I had folded in half to do my embossing with and take my gold embossing powder. Sprinkle it down just like that and just give it a nice little tap. Okay. Then we're going to take all of our embossing powder and put it back in our container. I'm telling you guys, the embossing powder goes so far. I had, I think I had to replace one container so far and I actually think it was the gold um, because I had used it for like a crazy number of cards. I think I did a swap with them and I used it on like, I don't know, 30 cards or something like that and it was already like half empty so Anyways, now all I'm going to do is take my heat tool and go ahead and heat set the embossing powder. Okay, now that those are all embossed, I'm gonna give it one second to cool. And while that cools, let me get out all of my framelits. So from our stitch shapes, I'm just gonna get out the two that we're gonna use. So we're gonna use the largest circle, if I can get it. The largest circle and then the uh, second to smallest circle. So we're gonna use those two. And then from our mini mittens framelit, we're going to use these two little tiny mittens here to cut out our little mittens. How many times can I say mittens in five seconds? So let me get some washing tape so that I can adhere down our framelits where we want them to go. I'm telling you guys, this is one of my favorite cards that I've made in a really long time. I was, um, I actually designed it two weeks ago. Was it two weeks ago? Maybe it was just last weekend. I don't think it was though. I think it was two weeks ago that I um, had originally designed it and I was sitting here in my office and I got done and my husband was sitting in the living room, which is right over on the other side of the wall. And I was like, oh my gosh, you'll never guess what I just did. And he's like, I don't know what. And he's like, I think I just designed my favorite card. I don't know why I love this card so much. I, when it comes to Christmas, I am very like classic Christmas. I don't like to do like crazy things. I'm trying to step outside my comfort zone and do some things that are a little different from what I normally do, but I like um, very crisp, classic kind of designs when it comes to Christmas. Um, so I think that's why I love this one so much because <laughs> it's very classic. There's not a whole lot to it. It's very, um, it's very just classic in my eyes. So I'm going to set that down. I'm also going to grab our scrap of pool party and I'm going to take our large circle and stick that down on there so we can just get all of our die cutting done at the same time. Sandwich everything in there just like so and crank her through, whoops. Drop things in the making, okay. So we have our circle here, I'm gonna set that off to the side. I'm also going to, okay, so my camera battery died, so I had to switch that out. But all I've done is I took out my little circle here with our sentiment, and I'm gonna set that off to the side. And now we're going to pull out our little mittens here and we're gonna get these guys all ready to go to be put on our card. So what I'm going to do 
is bring in some of our ribbon here. Now I'm also gonna grab some glue dots. I forgot to grab them. I'm gonna grab myself some glue dots here and um, because we're gonna use our glue dots to adhere the um, ribbon. So I'm just going to cut a piece. It's That's way too long, I can already tell you. But I just want to give myself enough room to work. So what I'm gonna do is fold my ribbon in half just like this. So really simple, I just fold it so that they're, it's not right on top of each other, just like so. And then I'm gonna kind of eyeball, oh actually first, first what I'm going to do to make this stick and make my life a little bit easier is just take a glue dot and you can barely see where the crease is but I'm just gonna put a glue dot right on there. Oops, maybe. There we go. Put a glue dot right there and then if I can grab the ribbon close this again and that's going to make my ribbon stay like that so as I'm placing my little mittens I don't have to fuss as much with all of that okay my glue dots are going crazy over here next to me so now I'm just gonna kind of gauge and you might want to bring in your little piece here and see um, where exactly you want them to go so I actually might do that I didn't do that last time but I might do that today just to make it a little easier on myself so now I'm gonna put a glue dot right on the front of my ribbon here and then I'm going to take my little sentiment and just stick that right there so I have my little tag or my little ribbon hanging down. And now I just need to uh, figure out how long I want my ribbons to be. So I think I want my mittens like right about there is probably good for me. Let me put the other one just to kind of see. Actually, I can just put it down on my desk and see much easier. I think that's cute. So I'm gonna cut my ribbons right about here. You can honestly do this however you want. This, for me, this process just gives me the flexibility to kind of see it and do things as I'm working rather than having to make a decision right up front and then if I didn't like it, then start all over. So um, all I did was just put a glue dot on the back of each of my mittens and now I'm just going to stick my ribbon down just like that. Oh my gosh, I love it. I don't know why I love this so much, but I really, really do. So while I have my little piece here, I'm just gonna flip it over and grab some dimensionals. And put some dimensionals on the back. Bring in my little circle here and set that right there. And now really it's just a matter of putting the rest of the card together. So set that off to the side. I'm gonna bring in these two pieces here. I'm gonna flip over my piece of des designer series paper and I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back and stick this down onto my piece of pool party. This just gives it a nice frame. Um, you don't have to, I kind of messed that up. Hang on, let's, oh, it wasn't stuck down, okay. So let me try to line this up as best as possible. There we go. It just gives it a nice frame, which I really like. And then I'm gonna take my piece of crumb cake here and just fold this in half. Grab my bone folder. Flip that open. Grab my adhesive again and put some more adhesive on the back. I'm going adhesive crazy today. No, you don't have to put that much. I just, you know, sometimes you just gotta go for it, I guess. Okay, so I'm just going to stick the card base down just like that. And now this is actually a beautiful card as just like that. Um, but I'm gonna flip my little circles over and just put some more adhesive on the back of this one. Oops and stick this right down on the front of my card. Now, um, the one thing that I did is I didn't center the circle in the card. I kind of centered this whole piece on the card. 
Um, that's just the look that I like, but you can do it however you want. It's completely up to you. Change the design to make it fit what you like the best. And there's our little card, our little mittens move. I just think it's so adorable. I don't know why I love this card so much, but I really do. <laughs> um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this card for today. Don't forget that if you want to get my free Mary Mittens card class, um, whoa, did I? I don't know why I call that Mary Mittens. It's definitely Smitten Mittens. So let's rewind to that. If you wanna get my free Smitten Mittens online card class, um, make sure you head over to littlemooncreation.stampinup.net. Place a $35 or more order using this hostess code here and um, I will get the card class sent right out to you. So um, if you have any questions, if you need, um, some ideas on what products you can use or you can purchase for $35 that will go towards the class. All of the supplies that you'll need for the class as well will also be in the description or in the blog post, which is in the description box below. Um, as usual, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!